Welcome to our old truck. I'm Ralph. I'm again sitting here in uh, red, our 31 year old fire truck, actually 32 year old fire truck. A lot of things have changed since the last video. And I wanted to give you an update. And then specifically, I wanted to talk to you about how I put the table in that I am sitting on here. You see this here? That's the table that I made out of a kitchen countertop and uh, some camping table pieces that I ordered online. Inside it's a little bit of a mess here. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on uh, all kinds of things. And the bigger mess is on the other side. You can possibly see now, it's, uh, I started to putting this throughway in uh, to go to the back uh, cabin. It works actually quite nice. Um, I did uh, try my welding skills. I'm not good uh, in welding at all, uh, but I'm doing my best. Uh, it didn't turn out too bad as far as I think. Of course, I'm not a professional welder by any means, uh, but I, I think it should hold. Um, I have to do the same thing on the other side. Also weld a little box in and then I will build from uh, some wood pieces. I will build a frame and have a flexible throughway there. Then I will continue with the um, ceiling of the truck. Um, I will cut that out and put a, a pop tab on, on top of it. See how that will, will turn out. But in this video, I wanted to show you how I put the table in. Originally, I tried to build this uh, table stand with these uh, banister pieces. Um, this simple pieces that you can buy in every hardware store. The thing is, these wood pieces, the, the round wood is not uh, wide enough in diameter to hold it stably and also these pieces are not, uh, they're wiggling quite a bit. Uh, it's just a few millimeters on, on the bottom, but uh, once the table is on, it's quite a few centimeters. Um, it was wiggling, the table in the end was wiggling like a belly dancer. and. Um, Certainly, I didn't uh, want that at all, uh, so I scrapped that idea right away and um, eventually bought some pieces from a camping supply store. I put those pieces in now. That is uh, exactly what I'm showing you in this video. I hope you can learn a little bit from it. Uh, please subscribe. Down here is the button for subscription, I believe, or on the other side. I'm not sure if the video turns around. And the first step in the camping for the camping table mount was basically drilling a hole in a 60 millimeter hole into the floor of the crew cabin. Um, that hole I cut in with a, a circular saw was basically no no issue. As you can see here, uh, I sealed the wood that I damaged with cooked linseed oil. This linseed oil I've been using for several different things. It's very nice to oil wood with, but it's also good for as a rust prevention. I used it on the Vito because Vitos are known to rust away faster than you, than you can drive them. This linseed oil builds a polymer film over the uh, steel and it stops oxygen to get to the steel. So it stops the rusting of the metal. The bottom table mount fit quite, quite nicely after I opened it up with a file a little more. Uh, the 60 millimeter is slightly too small for this uh, table mount. The next step was drilling the holes for the mounting screws. I will use nuts and bolts to secure the table holder. For the holder mount of the, on the table side, on the uh, top side, I used wood screws to fix them. The tabletop is made out of beech wood. So I pre-drilled the screw holes a little bit so the beech wood does not break out. Now with the new mounts, um, it turned out that I did not quite uh, leave enough uh, beef in the center to hold the table, but it's only two screws that are um, extending over the, the wood. So it will still hold quite nicely. The table stand itself uh, has tapers on each side to make it uh, more rigid. Um, it works to a certain extent, but as you can see, the table is not 100% stable. It's okay and it's good enough for camping, uh, but it's not a completely rigid stand as some people in some forums uh, make it sound like with these mounts. There's still some wiggle in it, but this table, or basically these tables, because I will put two in the crew cabin of those uh, tables, 
Um, they will be only used for emergencies when it, uh, the weather is really bad outside. We are not planning to use those all the time. These countertops will be the bottom of our bed here in the crew cabin. Uh, most of the time they will stay as they are. Only in real emergencies we will set up the tables for cooking and also eating in here.